Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Chasm Petrel, burrowing seabirds that became restricted to a single forested habitat. I hope you enjoy. Rarely seen, Chasm Petrels are medium-sized petrels which are dark grey above, white below, and having a range of muscle greys and white on their foreheads, with their unique wing patterning being the main way to help tell the difference between them and other related birds. While once being widespread around the Chasm Islands, these birds face threats to their range that made their existence there all the more hard. The introduction of mammals to the islands was the main reason, with cats and rats being able to easily access the burrows to feed on both the chicks and the adult birds, and also lost extensive habitat throughout their range as well because of human habitat clearance. They became restricted to the small Rangatira or South East Island by around 1900, and until recently was their only holdout. When it comes to their breeding, they nest in burrows under the canopy of forests which they'll often return to, sometimes up to 20 years in a row, with them laying a single white egg in either December or January. After this, the chicks fledge by about May or June, and the parents then leave them to follow their easterly migration route throughout the Pacific, mainly overwintering in the deep waters off of the South American coast. Even after farming ceased on Rangatira in the early 1950s and land predators had been removed, not to mention a great amount of forest being recovered on the roughly 218 hectare island, the birds were still declining and down to only about 30 breeding pairs in the 1980s. This was down to not predation but competition from other seabirds for nesting areas, with the comparable in size but far more numerous broad-billed prions, which nest at different times of the year, would often dig out many petrol chicks out of their burrows to lay their own eggs. Having a population on their ends of about 300,000 pairs, it meant that intervention was desperately needed to avert the decline, and said managements did indeed help. Burrows were protected either by installing a plastic or wooden artificial burrow to prevent collapse, as well as to block the entry prions by fitting a neoprene flap over their burrow's entrance, which while being quite a squeeze for the petrels, proved to be quite beneficial, with them soon settling in and prions being deterred. That, along with the barricades erected while the adult birds were away over the winter, has increased their nest success rates from a low of about 30% to now around 70-90%, through 90%, which is a major boon for them. The further transfer of 200 chicks to predator-proofed areas on pits and the main Chasm Islands have also been going well, and the population is now around an estimated 2,000 strong, increasing since 2003 by about 100 to 150 chicks fledging annually. So while still being among one of the rarest seabirds on Earth, they are making gains, and are now more secure than they have been in a good while. As with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you're able to vote for the Black Swan, swans that while being introduced also naturally colonised New Zealand around the same time. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.